In addition to the home page, product pages are incredibly important for your site. If your product page is poorly organized, you're going to lose conversions. You've done all the hard work of getting someone to that page. You want to make sure they add the product to the cart and they check out. And there's a few things that you should always check on your product page. One of the principles that you'll see over and over again on websites like Conversion Excel is that your call to action, in this case, the add to cart button needs to stand out. That means there needs to be a strong contrast between the add to cart button and anything around it. Some e-commerce entrepreneurs will recommend the isolation effect, which is where the add to cart button should look completely separate from the rest of your site. For example, it might use a color that is nowhere else on your site. While you don't have to go this strict, I do find it really helpful as a rule of thumb. Let's go ahead and change that in our theme. I'll go to my theme editor, and now let's go to a product page. Click on products, mineral water. Here's our blueberry mineral water. And let's go into the actual product page. So I'll click on the title. And now in our theme editor, let's scroll down and we should see buttons. Let's open that up. And we want to change button background color. I recommend using a color that contrasts with whatever is around it. But it's also a good idea to reuse elements in a design. So I'm going to reuse this yellowy green color from our logo. I'll change the button background color to BFC03B. And if we wanted, we can now change the text color to black. So it's a bit easier to read. We want to make it completely obvious to anyone that this is the call to action that we want them to follow through on. That's why it looks completely separate. This looks pretty good and it's pretty obvious and it stands out from everything else around it. There's a few other things we can do to make this product page look a little nicer. We'll close buttons, go down to product page. We'll click isolate images and slider and then we'll click refresh. I like turning this on because it makes the images distinct. If you have a ton of images and users love to scroll, you can probably leave this off, but I like the separation. From here, we can change what a list of products look like. Let's click on the category name to go back a page. I'll scroll up and click on mineral water. And from the theme editor, we'll close product page and open product grid. Under this menu is where we can control how many products show up on a page. Showing nine isn't bad, but I'd rather show 12. Let's change that. And we can also change the title, the font, the layout, and even the text alignment. But this looks pretty good. I'm really happy with our high contrast add to cart button. Again, we can always do more with these pages, and your theme may have different options, but for our store, this is a great start. I'll click Save, 